Uh, no. Um, when they said that we should all support Brousset, that support was not conditional, by which I'm, I mean that, um, you know, whatever Brousse decided to do, to break or not to break the law, we would still support it. Now, I have always supported Brousse, but I would not support any organization that is intent on breaking the law. And that really is the distinction. But what they have been doing, they have either deliberately, or whatever it is, left out that part and merely concentrated on Tunku Aziz is opposed to Bursi. Whereas Tunku Aziz is not opposed to Bursi, but he's opposed to Bursi if Bursi is you know, about to break the law. There is that distinction which they obviously either couldn't see or didn't want to see, which has made me into some kind of a monster, you know, uh, reactionary, I'm opposed to fair and uh, uh, free and fair elections, which is not the case. And, you know, I believe that uh, in our dealings, whether on the political or personal level, there should be a degree of, um, of fairness, of truth. But in this case, it is so obvious, because in every statement that they have issued, it's Tunku Aziz opposed, per se. I don't bother to read uh, the blogs, but I am told that I've been totally demonized. Yeah, because people think that uh, I have, uh, I have, um, you know, stood in the way of free and fair election, uh, which is a nonsense. I've been, I've been an NGO advocate for years. I was the one, together with a few like-minded friends responsible for setting up Transparency International Malaysia at the time when it was not easy and yet we persisted so that today Malaysia has Transparency International. So for someone to say that you know I am opposed to NGO activities is entirely wrong.